Alright, December 28th, Detention Center Visitor Room. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the Detention Center. <sighs> Did you just call me a sweetie? Again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we gathered quite a few clues. One, der, flea. Fab, to, fab, fan, tab, you, loso. I mean, fabulous. Uh, that's why we came to uh, meet you again. What's wrong? Quit, quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. Alright, so do I gotta present to him? I gotta present the Magnatama, Magnatama thingy to do. Alright, meeting with Russell. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary, salary and such? Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary from, uh, from my six-month-old con- You fuck. Six months old? That's the truth. The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies and I hate liars. What are you ins insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Durr. The bottle? I don't, I don't know. Ringmaster Papers. <laughs> Did we go in the order we found him, or...? Uh, I don't know. Th th that's... It was on the table in the Ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F f fabulous Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why'd he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Because he fucking smashed the dude over the head with a bottle! It was the best! Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria. But you already knew that, didn't you? Uh, of course! Aha! Uh -huh. I... I fell and broke it on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max? What is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. Use this bottle to... Do I gotta choose Ben or something? Poor Ben. He looks like a worm. Ben. You nailed him over the head with the bottle, didn't you? Hey, look at the little guy. That was cute. He was yelling at him. What a fuck. And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night? F fabulous You might as well be a magician. I did great. Unlock successful. What do I get? My pictures? Give me my pictures. Give me the CG set, brother! Alright, Max Galifianakis. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Ah, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How were those Jurassic j uh... What the fuck? Geratrix? Geatrix? Geratrix? I... What the fuck is that word? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, yes, sweetie. That's why they call me... That's why they call Jealousy. J-E-A-L-O-U-S-Y. Jealousy. They are absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand can see an obvious difference between us. People who really under... People who really understand. For instance, my sweetie pie. Huh, does... Regina understand him? Huh? I plan on getting married to her. She is truly my sweetie pie princess. Then maybe they got in a fight over that. 
Ben and what's his face? And Max. Wow, that's so cool! It's already in the works. Hmm. What happened? You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder. Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. once I was done with practice. I went to his room right after he finished. They found the ringmaster's body in a plot in front of the logging house. Yeah. I heard about that. I heed about that. What? He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for the return. Huh? Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's all right. I'll be back. It should only take about ten minutes. Look, that his, uh, what's-his-face's coat was right there. Max's. And then? I waited for him. But he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I had no idea what he went off to do. Alright, meeting with Russell. The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. You mean he had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? He could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? Regina George, huh? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he has that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Ill-breed? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. Are you sure about it, Ben? Are you sure about this Ben? Uh, we are talking about. All I can say is that he made me mad and I had to tap him on his head, hot, on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me, called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's my sweetie pie, is my sweetie pie, and no one else's. Ah, huh, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? <laughs> shut him up? Sounds like a fucking gangster, I need to shut him up. Alright, let's see. Um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know? You ma- you, uh... Uh, do you, my sweeties? Unless Ben and uh, Trilo are together, Trilo can't say a word. Trilo? The puppet, the ventriloquist puppet. His real name's Trilo Quist. But the puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hid it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If the, if the puppet started flapping off at, uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the balls, uh, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? You're so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What, sweetie, you aren't thinking of trying to... Where the fuck is the DS? I just noticed that. Trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hit Trilo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind to go there and getting Trilo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem. None at all. Thank you, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. You know, go hiding puppets. Alright, so we gotta go find a puppet? I don't think I have to show him anything. Nothing really. I did everything I needed. I showed him everything I found. Alright, let's see. Actually, you know what? No, I want to see what he thinks of uh, Regina. Regina, Regina. Uh, right there. Fuck, present. Wait, how old is she? Hold on! 16! I saw 16! Or 26. What is going on here? How old are you? You fucking... That's too young! It's too 
so young. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're 21. It's still not a good age. You're too old. God damn it. Pedophiles everywhere. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, in some places, the legal age of consent is 16, so... This does apparently take place in the States, and I know there's select places are like that, but a majority of them are 18 and up. So, I don't know. But I'm guessing they're doing the minority instead of the majority. Alright, let's see. Circus entrance. Let's go find that fucking thing. Alright, December 28th. Big Berry Circus. Circus entrance... Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I want to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. Alright, let's see. We gotta go to the... Big Top, so we could go... Oh. We gotta talk some? We gotta talk some? We gotta talk some shit! Let's go! What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the Ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There still is a lot of mysteries to be le left to be solved, of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. Alright, time to move. Where was this? The Ringmaster's room, I believe? Alright, December 28th, Big Top. Oh, I'm trying to fix my ear. Alright, there we go. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. You just stop it, uh, it you poster p uh, pilfer. I'm just, I'm just kidding. You know, I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of the posters? Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said he hid Trulio somewhere in this room. Trulio. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet! Alright, let's see. Boom. Nick, look, look at the cute trophies. Indeed. Just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmaster, blah, 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 Huh? Uh, there's something shoved underneath the bookshelf. This is... That's Trulio. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him. Later. Trulio Quist handed over to my... Why do I have to carry this thing? <laughs> Why are you getting angry? Alright. Let's see. We gotta go find them. Let's check the cafeteria since we're already in here. Oh, well. Fuck you then. Check the cafeteria. That's what I wanted. You fuck. There we go. December 28th, Big Top Cafeteria. Oh, hey, Ben. Uh, um, hello. Hello to you. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Y yes, I, uh, I did it indeed. You think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Not in my salad. Alright, see, I guess we gotta present little Trulio to him. Why does that look so weird? You see that, right? It looks so weird. I don't know why that looks so weird. It doesn't look right. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, let's see. Present Trilio. Um, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Yes, that's mine. Here you go. Trilio Quist returned to Ben. Alright, Maya, let's get going. Is that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Oh, oh okay. So, Nick, where are we going to next? Let's see, maybe we should go talk to the clown once more. Uh, hey, wait. Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here. Are you blind, you wench? What's your problem anyway? Don't you know how to properly greet someone? B B ben, is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. It would never. It is... <laughs> oh, I would never. It's me. Yeah, it's me down here. You're... Your Trilio? This is Mr. Quist. Uh, uh, to you, sir. Learn some matters before you just blurt out my name. Now try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again. Mr. Quist, is that better? No! Try it when, I, when I'm talking to you, you 
eight big excuse for the turn. <laughs> Trillio, we talked about insulting. Well, did he fucking punch him? No! Why? Insulting people, you promised. But he was mocking me. Being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trillio. Nick, what just happened? Trillio is still a puppet, right? Up in Twilio. Hey, what do you think you are calling me a puppet? Dude, this guy is just ready for a fucking fight. Look at him. He's the best. Pinocchio should be like this. Alright. Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me? Don't you look at him when you're talking to me. Trillio Christ, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody! What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where you, uh, they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make us such a fuss about a thing. The old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trillio, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have the nerve pills or something to take right now? These two really are an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Grabs got clobbered over the head. Alright, very big circus. Let me lay it all out for you. The pig sucks, the clown sucks, and my parents has his hands up my pants. Oh, my partner has his hands up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off for me, will ya? He's just another one of those dorks around here. Uh, oh, my. But I'll be fair. In the cesspool of human garbage uh, masquerading as circus performers, I found my Madonna. Your Madonna? Regina. My lovely Regina. She's stunning, right, Ben? Well, I I'm sure if I wouldn't go that far... You have to excuse him. He does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an uh, appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. M -m Mary, had a little laugh, little laugh, little laugh. Mary had a little man. The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by that flying broad. You mean Max Galactica? Ah, uh, my Ga Galactica? Galaga? Fuck, fuck you! I'm, I'm just gonna call you Max. Damn it! I'm mix, I'm mixing up Galaga with Gal Galactica, and you know. I've been recording for over an hour and 30. I've been mulling over. I should call him Galaga or Galactica. I don't know. I'll just call him Max from now on. Trilio, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up? I made a wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there? <laughs> if you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the facts. You... You're going to marry... Regina? That's right, she doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? But well, she did seem a bit worried about things. Well, well, she... I don't care! It's my face, not hers! We're getting hitched! I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I'm a renowned tenor. I'll be happy to know that I decide to grace you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. The fuck me. Well, um, the melody's pretty good. Those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Ah, uh, thanks. Now that Trillio's here... Now that Trillio's here, does that mean he can talk normally now? Hey, butter butt face! Ah! Uh, you must be looking forward to tomorrow, weren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Ah... Uh, you know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. I love this voice, guys. I don't care if no one likes it, I love it. Trillio? Enough jibba jabba. Let's get the court. Let's go to court already. What? What? Uh, 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 hey, wait. Nick, what's going on? 
He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Uh... Oh, great. All right, let's see. Let's go back to Big Top. Oh, anyone here? Uh, what in the world happened to Ben and Trilio? Quite a pair, those two. Where did they go? Ooh. Oh, hello there, monkey. Oh, no. Now what? Ooh, ah. Ooh, ee, ooh. Ah, yeah! Ah! That monkey stole my badge. Oh, my God. What is it, Nick? That monkey. Ugh, my badge! The monkey stole it! W what? <laughs> Mr. Arting, that face was so cute. You look so completely dumbfounded. R Regina! You! That monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? B -b -b my attorney badge! Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. After I'll get my badge back, how how can I flash it? <laughs> By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Mon Monkey Money. <laughs> what? Money monkey. I fucking she, she didn't. Uh, whatever. The monkey? It's called money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. <laughs> it's me smashing my head against my desk. Eh? Whenever money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I guess I just have to find out where money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, money is exactly someone I am on a friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Better Mo's, huh? Yeah, the most avid. Uh... It's time to go visit that kooky clown. Ben and Creelio. Creelio! Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that is always hanging around Trilio? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trilio told me that he was in love with me. Trilio told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kinda cute, don't you think? He's so smart and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. Oh, I thank you. But... What about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trilio. Like sand through the hourglass, or the days of the circus. Nice reference. Ahem. <clears throat> Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope, that won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it? Isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trulio both said otherwise. They said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly. So I guess Trulio hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trulio? Wait, 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 wait. Do you realize that Trilio is a puppet? Uh, I don't care. It's a bit stiff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> I'm going to Moe's. I don't even know what to think about this game anymore. What the fuck is going on, everyone? <laughs> what is going on? I don't understand. This doesn't fucking look like a tent. Ah! Huh, Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yep, just leave him alone for a while, okay, Maya? I'm, I'm sure he just got lonely and headed back to the precinct. <laughs> Gumshoe getting lonely. That's funny. I like that. Alright, let's see. Let me look at this. Nothing here to examine. Actually, what's this? 
There's a condenser for the air conditioner. It hasn't been used in a while. Wait, how do you figure that out? You're not making things up now, are you? Hold your horses. It's easy to figure out. It was snowing before the murder, right? Well, look at the condenser. The snow is piled on top of it. Wow, Nick, I'm impressed. Maybe you should be a PI instead of an attorney. Yeah, I wonder why he isn't. Something's covered up by this tarp. An old sign, perhaps? Nick, look out! They've got the killer's trap behind the trap! It's a trap! What? It wasn't funny? You know it wouldn't have hurt you to look even a little bit surprised. <sighs> she didn't notice that I was too scared to talk. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Who was scared? That pussy. It's okay, I get scared too. I noticed those boards on the walls the second time I came in here. December 28th, Logging Hall, first floor, most room. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Black, all the time. Uh... It's alright to be wrong every now and again, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. Uh... So what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, maybe just pull your, uh, pull my pull my finger and let me have it. Uh, we're gonna get the same sound uh, effect either way, aren't we? How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? My heart hurts right now. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Uh, Regina George. So about Regina. Regina is such a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie, too. She was born and raised in a circus, you know? But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly. For her, every child's dream is for, uh, of the circus of her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. Every day she sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny cloud. Funny thing is, that all seems normal for to her because it's her everyday life. I guess that mean. Uh, I guess that's why. She, uh, excuse me. That's. I guess that's why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Who asked me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though? A clown sees life simply without complications. That does not make sense. You fuck. Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's badge. But money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that it swept your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. What's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Oh my fucking god, that was genius. I, was, I didn't see that coming. That was the best. <laughs> no joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? I'll be happy to talk to you, uh, to you when his owner is saying, saying, what? You mean right now? Of course. Shall we go? Ha, ah, should we go with him now or wait, or wait a while? Uh, go with him all? Where the hell are we? December 28th, Logging Hall, third floor, Ac Acro Room. <sighs> this is it. Uh, what's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. <sighs> Anyways, this is a place Acro Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Oh, I'm gonna call him Dick for now on. Eh? That's a big pile of junk over there in the corner. What the fuck was that? Something fell on the floor. I don't, I don't, I do think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you get, uh, get, got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Money, ha mon uh, money, money has been added to the court record. Did money kill him? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's get our stuff. Before I start examining everything else in this room. This bed is incredibly well made. It's almost like a maid made it up. Even the laundry on top of the bed is folded perfectly. Nick, there's nothing unusual about that at all. It's how things are supposed to be. Can a man respect another man for doing something said man cannot do? <laughs> Was he a little kid? Hey, the net's ripped. Money must be prone to breaking things. He's hardcore. Um, the net looks fine to me. 
You really think that he plays basketball? I think so. Monkeys live life above the rim, you know? You're joking, right? You think the monkey has got a proverbial game? Of course. That monkey doesn't fake the funk of the nasty dunk. Well, a prehensile tail might be an unfair advantage. What the hell did I just read? But I loved it. Lenny must use this to swing around on. Go ahead, Nick. I know you want to ride on it, too. Maybe later. <laughs> I meant to click the junk. I didn't mean to click the tire. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror and everything's shiny. There's even a really cheap-looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this. This is a trophy. It's really heavy. Nick, I found it. Your badge. It's right here. Phoenix Attorney's badge has been returned. Yeah, baby. Thanks. You really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring. There's something engraved on it. From T to R. So it's from Trilio to Regina. So that's the gif, huh? What if, why did it do that? Well, I think it's about time you wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in the court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. You see, Mo will be a witness in the court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. Uh, no matter what, uh, what, uh, what, we still got a magician on our side. That's good because we might need some magic tomorrow. All right, so we're getting ready for the uh, well, the court stuff to go on. So that's great. To be continued. All right, that's pretty sweet, everyone. I'm obviously gonna take a break. I may continue later tonight, but I do have to record some stuff, obviously, because I have other responsibilities on my channel. I recorded for around an hour and forty-six minutes. Obviously, it's broken up in parts because I like doing that because it kind of makes the rendering time go down a bit. Um. So yeah, that is about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending the time. Uh, and um, I love your faces. And if you don't like the videos, then go fuck yourself. Goodbye.